Hello, Twitter world. Yours truly. Anyways, I wanted to talk about my M50 and uh, how I have it configured for Airsoft and all of that. So let's get into the eye protection part. This is a uh, polycarbonate outsert. This goes for uh, stopping impact or scratches from happening on the inner visor. I've, I have played a couple games with uh, the M50 on. And, um, and no, this thing hasn't like broke or cracked or anything. So it's safe to assume that the... Uh, that the outsert is uh, Z87 rated. I don't know why I blinked on that so hard. <laughs> but um, I am planning on getting the dark one in the future. They are like about a hundred bucks or so, depending on who's scamming you. But uh, let's talk about the VPU. This is the voice projection unit. It's why you can kind of hear me at all. This is, uh, this is what it sounds like without the unit on. Um, you can still kind of hear me, but it's a bit awkward and Kind of sounds like a talk to evolve. Um, what a lot of people don't know, including myself and I bought this, is that it is actually a two-part unit. So you first have the VPU on the front that plugs in like that. I hope I can get this back on in a timely manner. And there you go. Then, then there's the microphone on the inside. There it is. I have the two-parted one. It was actually a lot cheaper than just a single part. If you don't have that mic plugged in, the VPU does not work. And uh, I know because this gas mask came without the inner mic. And I had to shell out like 80 bucks just for the inner mic. Uh, let's see. Also, I am running the proprietary filter on one side. And the 40 millimeter threaded adapter for the PAPR unit hose. Um... I'll talk about the PAPR in another video, but I wanted to show you why I even got this in the first place, and um, it's because with the proprietary filters, I'm a I'm a right-handed guy, so it's gonna look a bit awkward. With the proprietary filter, it's kind of hard, even if you were just to do this, you'd like center it like doom, but it's kind of hard to get in there, and the amount that I would have to crank my neck is pretty awkward but with the uh with the papr unit all you gotta do is that and it's not as bad or severe sometimes i can center it but um in aerosol this is really important because if you were to have your gun like this it the hop gets affected greatly and your gun just shoots horribly uh i guess you know it could work for real steel but not for an airsoft application no so that was a must. Um, anything else before I close off this video? Oh yeah. And keep in mind this VPU is compatible with my 3M Peltorg, my Comtac 3s. This uh, mic can actually pick up the sound coming from the VPU. That uh, doesn't sound like it's saying a lot, but the VPU on that gas mask right there does not get picked up by this at all. Um, and another thing is that they are compatible with uh, with night vision. At least this gas mask is compatible with night vision. You see, it doesn't really like touch the visor. Just misses it by like that much. But honestly, I played a I played a night game in this, and you don't even notice after a while that you that you're wearing a gas mask with all of that. Other than that, um, yeah, I kind of wanted to make this video because I noticed that this configuration in general just was not very popular and I couldn't find it on Google Images. Uh, I always saw the one, the one from SCP Overlord where they have the proprietary filter with the thread adapter on top. Um, I didn't want that one. I didn't want to have a bigger profile. I wanted to have a smaller profile, but I still wanted a filter on the side. So... Yeah, I just wanted this to show up in Google Images to help some people out. Other than that, yeah, uh, thanks for watching.